Hi, Peter. Hello. Is it Halloween? Looks like we're about to tell a story. Take two. Ooh, tell a scary story. Gonna tell us a, a scary story. All right, guys. We're in an attic. You see, Peter? We have OSHA approved plywood. Not over here, though, but OSHA approved plywood there, there. We got pulled down attic stairs. Hi, Peter. Okay. We have no blower. We have no blower. We have no central air conditioning. I was here a couple weeks ago and put in that Honeywell transformer with the, with the circuit breaker in it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what we did was took the cover off with the switch off and took that access panel off and I pushed the reset button in. And let's listen to what happens when I turn it on for a split second. You hear that? Let me do that one more time. Hear that humming sound? Yeah. No bueno. no bueno. Let's do this. Let's do something real quick. Hold that. Okay. Let's remove common, which is going to our condenser. And let's remove Y, which is going to our condenser. It's also going to our thermostat, right? So for process of elimination purposes, let's just remove our condenser. Okay. And let's just hook up our Y. Right there. Come on, get in there, baby. Oh, slide into the hole. Okay, it doesn't want to cooperate easily. So there's our Y. Okay, so now I've eliminated C and Y that went to our contactor, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's, have, let's turn our power back on. And as long as our thermostat is still good, we have blower, right? So let's take... Since this is going straight to our contactor from the air handling the data, let's get our voltmeter and let's check for resistance here, right here. Let's make sure I don't get any zaps, <laughs> right? Like Ted Cook. Let's check our resistance. All right, let's test our resistance across there. Whoa, oh, no, we have something bad going on there with the contactor. We have a bad contactor. Yep, we do. All right, let's go to the contactor. All right, so. This is our first floor dining room, sorry, first floor dining room and kitchen den. That is the... <laughs> Don't worry. You scared? That is the first floor uh, office and garage area. This is the master bedroom, second floor. Get out of here. Go away. Get out of here. And that is the kids' uh, second floor right side. You may be asking me, Mikey Pipes, how big is this house? Well, it's roughly roughly around 9,000 square feet. We have um, a four-car garage with an access of $2 million of cars in it. So, And there's a Maybach uh, right there. So, Just sitting in the... And by the way, under the tarp is another Rolls Royce. New, brand new, by the way. All right, let's check out our contactor. Let's go to the ring. I disconnected both my wires that were going to the uh, contactor. So let's test on one side to the other. Well, also my power's disconnected uh, to the other. And we have a, a reading of 12. So uh, I don't think we have an issue here. Let's check a look at our, closer look at our wiring. Let's see, let's put the needle nose out here. There's so many zip ties on this thing, it's crazy. There's one there, let's take this one off. Let's inspect our wire here and I don't see anything out of the ordinary, do you? Uh, no, I don't see anything out of the ordinary there. No. So let's, uh, we're going to a pressure switch. No, we weren't going to a pressure switch. Okay, let's, let's just, uh, you know what? Let's disconnect this for a second, hot minute, all right? There's one there. Here's another one there. All right, and let's connect these two together. And then we'll go up to that attic again with our voltmeter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll test again. So now we're connected here. So we should get continuity. All right, let's go back up to the attic and take a reading on that line. All right. Huh. I wonder if we have 
problem with this control wire. This goes all the way down there. All the way down there. Huh. We up high. <laughs> all the way down there. It's like a missile silo. All right, so let's get, uh, let's go back outside. Let's put a new contactor on there and see what happens. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a reason why as a professional in the trades, there's always redundancy. And thank God for the, I guess, installing contractor who put this in. Really didn't do a great, didn't do a bad job, but he didn't run two conductor wire. He ran three conductor wire, right? And the problem that we're having is that there's a short between the red and the white wire. And sometimes you get lucky, not always. So what I did was we utilized the green wire, right? I took that green wire and now we checked for continuity. And check, guess what happens now when we go to our uh, voltmeter, checking for continuity and resistance, yet this is hooked up to the contactor. So there's one lead there. We have 13. Right? Now we have 13. Before, right, check this out. Between the red and the white, I don't know what it's going to give because the white is connected to the, the, the contactor, it, yeah. but we have 0.5, 1.5 right we have some kind of short there between the red and the white right but between the red sorry, between the white and the green now we're good so let's see what happens let's go to our control our uh, our panel right here all right all right fake you got the flash let me actually i still need that i'm blind that right there okay all right tighten that up that's our common. And now on our yellow, right? Let's do it the way before. Okay? Let's just go like that. Okay? There's that. Let's put that back on our yellow. Right there. Okay? Right there. Here you go. Let's tighten that up. Okay. And now watch what happens when we turn the switch on. You ready? I'm ready. We have blower and our contact is pulled in. All right, Peter, let's energize. Voila, Houston, we have ignition. Thank God for the extra wire. That's all I could say. Thank God for the extra wire. And also guys, um, we don't typically do this, but we are rebuilding all of this in the next uh, coming weeks. Not only are we redoing all the plumbing, all these pumps, but we're going to redo this pool. See that pool? Um, I'm subbing that out, of course, the liner and the treatment and the uh, refurbishment of the steel walls here, but um, we're putting a new liner in. We have possibly replacing the heater and redoing all of the plumbing here. All the plumbing. It's going to be really, really, really nice. Can't wait. It's exciting. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And the moral of the story is, if you need to run two wire, run three wire. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. You know what's disgusting? Let me tell you what's disgusting. That is a Maybach. Okay? This... You could barely see it, but you know what? I look at it. It's just sitting here, but let me just show you. I'm going to show you anyway. All right. This is what you call. That's what you call FU money, by the way. <laughs> when you got that much of it and you have literally a $500,000 car sitting under a tarp in your driveway. Because you can. And that's what you call FU money. <laughs> and just in case you need it a little harder... F you some more, baby. F you some more.